If you've used the Track Visibility tab in the Mix Console, you know how useful managing channel visibility can be when you're working on a big project. Well, now this feature is available in the Project page. The introduction of Track Visibility Management in the Project window has many advantages for maximizing your workspace when faced with certain tasks. For instance, here I made a preset for working exclusively on MIDI, and here's a preset that I made for editing my drum tracks. While this may look complicated to set up, it's really quite easy. Let's start from the beginning and see just how useful this feature can be. Essentially, Track Visibility Management is all about showing and hiding different sections of your project window. When you're working with a very high track count, it can be quite frustrating rearranging your view to complete certain tasks, and that's where Track Visibility comes in. You'll notice on the top left, there's a new tab in the Inspector area labeled Visibility. If you click on it, you will see a list of all of the tracks in your project. This is called the Track Visibility List. The tracks will be displayed in unison with the same order of the tracks as in the project page, but more efficiently as it takes less space to display all of the track names in this compact menu. All you have to do to show or hide tracks at breakneck speed is click on the dots next to the track name. A white dot means a track will be visible in the project page. A clear dot will mean that the track is hidden. You can also show or hide a track by hitting the Enter or Return key on your QWERTY keyboard while in this area while navigating up and down with the arrow keys. To visually solo the track, simply shift-click on the corresponding dot to the track you want to see. Select a track and shift-click to select all of the tracks between it and another selection. Or Control or Command-click to select individual tracks. Now with just one click on a selected track's dot, you have toggled all of the selected track's visibility. Sweet! If we click on the Track Visibility Configurations drop-down, we can save our configuration. Now name the configuration with something meaningful and click OK. Now I'm going to quickly make another configuration and save it so I can show you the next part. Not only is it easy to switch between track visibility configurations, you can even assign a key command to the different configurations. Under the File menu, open the Key Commands window if the last thing you did was toggle the track visibility configurations and it will already be selected in the Commands display. If not, you can just type Visibility in the search window and select it below. Click below where it says Type in Key. Now enter a unique command for this configuration. If you choose a key command that's already been used, it will show up under Assigned To. I'm going to use Ctrl-Alt-1 for the first track visibility configuration and Ctrl-Alt-2 for the second. Now if I click OK, I can easily switch between each configuration with a few quick keystrokes. Seeing how every project is different, it's important to note that what you save as a track visibility configuration here is saved with the project and is unique to the project. Only the key commands you establish for switching between them will be preserved in other projects. Now if you save a configuration and you want to make some changes to it, don't create a new configuration. Simply choose Update Configuration and your old configuration is written over. You'll notice that when you've altered a configuration, a star will appear in the configuration name to remind you that it has been changed from its default state. If you want your choices in the project page's track visibility configuration to mirror those in the Mix console, right-click in the visibility area and under Sync Visibility, choose Sync Project and Mix Console. Now you have perfect synchronicity between the visibility of channels on the Mix console and tracks on your project page. Now the last two features with track visibility management are the use of filters and track visibility agents to tidy up your display quickly. The track visibility filter is easy for a quick general selection of a particular track type. But under track visibility agents, there's a whole other list of potential filters for your view. What each of these agents do is fairly self-explanatory and can be learned by simply trying them. But what's important to note here is that you can undo and redo visibility changes that you've made here. 
If that's not enough for you, you can dig even further by creating your own advanced agents using the Project Logical Editor. Check out the manual under the Help menu for more on using the Project Logical Editor. Track Visibility Management, helping you keep things organized fast.